with all the communities and uh, making sure that they have what they need to grow. What are the investment of the local dollars in Glide and the Innovation Fund will be for naught if we don't accomplish that goal. And so we're very committed to it. What kind of cross-section of industry have you been attracting through the program? Well, it, it's interesting uh, from the standpoint that, uh, uh, let me first talk about the Innovation Fund. That is strictly a technology-based business. I mentioned 145 applicants. By far the biggest component of that is IT and software. Uh, approximately half of those companies, 145 are in that area. Uh, uh, a big component of uh, biomedical. Uh, of, we currently have 11 companies that have located in the EIC building at the college out of, out of the fund. Eight of those are software companies. Three of them are biomedical companies. We've had very little activity in alternative energy. Uh, what you find in alternative energy is that there's not a not there's not a lot of new technology in alternative energy, which almost seems to be a uh, oxymoron. But what in in Northeast Ohio, there's a lot of companies who have grown up in metal shaping, bending, uh, a lot of plastics companies who could benefit by being suppliers to that industry, but they're not really developing new technology. So uh, we don't see a lot of people saying, well, I've got a new way to do solar. So the bulk of the interest is in software companies, automation, sensors, and uh, a, a, a lot of activity in that area along with the medical. Any other questions? If not, I... Uh, I thank you for your attention and uh, uh, again would emphasize for the Planning Commission and the citizens of North Ridgeville that paying attention to growing your own businesses as you move forward and having everything in place to make as we develop these technology companies that this is a favorable place for them to come to will be, you'll benefit tremendously as you move into the future. Thank you.